Byron Boston, President and CEO, Dynex Capital. Great to see you here in LA at the Global Conference. My pleasure. Thank you very much. You are in the real estate business in terms of managing REITs and assets. You're speaking on a panel about how we're seeing shifting dynamics with cities. How does the move toward urbanization impact the way you think about investing? So as an entrepreneur, um, Dynex Capital, or an entrepreneurial firm, Dynex Capital has always focused on uh, the, the universe of real estate, housing, and other commercial real estate assets. So this large trend provides a wonderful opportunity for us to generate return for our shareholders. There's two large dynamics here that are at play. One, if we only think about the United States, but these things are happening outside of the U.S. also. But in the United States, you have a, a huge demand for current income or yield. And then on the other hand, you have this need for more private capital within the housing system. So large urbanization trends mean that you have to have appropriate housing for all those people, whether it's affordable housing or the higher end housing. And Dynex Capital is involved in that process and has been for the past 30 years. So we're looking for opportunities to make money and take advantage of these large urbanization trends. I've actually heard from several people at this conference about real estate as an investment, that it looks like a better investment going forward than obviously fixed income where we have some issues uh, and for some volatility in equities. What is your estimate for how a real estate portfolio will return over this year and a little bit more longer term? So I'm going to give you a narrow answer, if you don't mind. I'm going to talk sure. about Dynex because we're a mortgage REIT, a real estate investment trust, and we give you this opportunity to combine really this fixed income asset, fixed income uh, um, 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 characteristic with real estate. So we're taking, if you buy my stock, you're giving me your money to manage for you. I have a fiduciary responsibility. I'm going to turn and I'm going to invest that money um, as a lender in the real estate market. Because I am a real estate investment trust, my obligation is to pass back to you. I'm not taxed at the corporate level, so I pass through my income to you. So I have an above average dividend yield, and that's the attraction of a real estate investment trust. So now we're marrying two needs, this need for this return of my investors in current income with this need for private capital in the real estate markets. And when you think about urbanization trends, you say, how can we get that capital flowing into the urban areas to provide better housing, better shopping malls, uh, better transportation, better infrastructure, and that's how you marry the two together. There is a huge demand globally for current income, and that's my, those are my shareholders, and it's very important to my shareholders to get this current income. On the other side of the uh, a balance sheet is an investment in a securitized U.S.-centric asset. What happens as interest rates start nudging higher, assuming they do, over the next year? You know, we could see some squeeze uh, in our net interest margins, but we still see great opportunity to invest in these sectors. One debate earlier today on a panel was around, should investor expect return expectations come down? And the answer is yes. Globally, in a, a zero to negative interest rate environment, return expectations should come down. Are these attractive yield levels? Yes. Have interest rates gone up over the last year? We're still yielding somewhere near 12%. And that'll be a very attractive um, as you look out into the future. It's our opinion at Dynex that over the next five to 10 years, this above average dividend yield that comes from investing in real estate assets will be very attractive. Byron Boston, it's been great chatting with you today. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you.